Hey there, uh, I've had a few people ask um, to have a look at the setup I have on the Blade Chroma for some mid-range uh, FPV. Uh, so what I have here is a Chroma bind and fly with the stock GoPro mount. What I've done is I've installed all the components for the most part uh, with the exception of the OSD onto the mount. Um, so I could could remove it fairly easily if I wanted to. I have a mini Sony 620 TVL camera, one of the DWDR versions. Um, I'm running a Team Black Sheep uh, power filter. And I'm running an immersion 600 milliwatt 5.8 gigahertz a video transmitter right there and also I've got a ready-made RC um, 12 volt microphone wired into that and for a video antenna I'm using a IB crazy uh, air screw 5.8 just really simple simple setup um, for on-screen display I've got, uh, I'd say, fairly affordable Supo model. I think it's a Supo Pigeon or Freebird um, that offers probably more than I need right now. I don't have any um, any voltage set up besides the the main pack, so I'm running everything off the main pack and then filtered with the the black sheep filter, and uh, I don't have RSSI voltage tapped in yet. I'm still still trying to read up on how to tap into the stock uh, Spectrum DSMX receiver and uh, see if I can pull RSSI off of that using a uh, Dora interface. Uh, as far as the power is concerned, I did, I did tap in to the main power. You're not, probably not able to see it um, underneath this front panel right there uh, that pops out and I was able to tap into the back of the plug post I just uh, stripped off the heat shrink tube and uh, soldered onto it onto the to the other side of it's almost like a Dean's connector and then uh, I used some some liquid uh, electrical tape just to tidy it up a bit and again uh, everything with the exception to the OST can be can be popped off if I want it um, but for the most part I've got no no real needs, reason to, to take anything off I don't use this for anything but uh, you know general FPV I'm not using it for aerial photography I don't really I don't have a you know an HD camera and I'm not not really interested in that um, on the leg here this is the uh, the GPS antenna for the Supo and the other mod I did which was actually fairly important was I ran the stock uh, spectrum receiver antenna right out that hole there it was originally inside um, running parallel with with the main board and right up against the main board and I was only getting about 2200 to 2400 feet before I would get the uh, the fail safe fail safe tripping in it wouldn't stay on permanently but it would flip kind of indicating that it's losing uh, enough packets to to be concerned but with the antenna running down the back of the leg there's nothing physically blocking it and I'm also able to get the orientation uh, as such that it lines up with the antenna on my transmitter so I was able to fly um, two kilometers in one direction without any kind of failsafe. So I, I could imagine I, I would have been able to go farther, but um, at that time I was, I was pretty pleased with, with hitting two kilometers using Spectrum setup. Um, this is, you know, stock Dominator V2 with an internal DVR and I'm um, using a uh, Mad Mushroom. Um, VAS or IB crazy, whatever you want to call it, antenna on the uh, on the receiver inside, 
I've also got a True RC um, crosshair antenna, which I use, which I did use on the video with the two kilometer run. Uh, it is directional. I think it's 10 dBi, um, and it does offer a nice clear picture, provided your you know your head's oriented in the in the general direction. It doesn't have to be pointed straight at it. Um, stock for now, DX6, and I've since purchased a 8 dBi panel or patch antenna from ReadyMade RC that will be installed something like that and um, I've ordered some I guess some pigtails with uh, SMA connectors that I will be um, replacing the stock antenna with so I'll be cutting it off here and have a, an SMA female poking out of there and of course the pigtail with the uh, I think the UFL connection it's called, will just go on to the, the internal transmitter. So with ATBI, um, I should probably get uh, two to two and a half times the range. And again, it's not uh, such high gain that I need to be uh, really focused in. I think if I'm pointed in the general direction of the quad, I'm not going to have any major issues. And uh, my thinking is that with the True RC, um, antenna, uh, my head's going to act as sort of a tracker, so with the clear image provided um, by having my head in the direction, I'll have an idea of which orientation that the antenna and the transmitter points, so I'm not too worried about that. I've also, I also ordered a 5 dBi um, linear antenna and a 3 dBi antenna that will be able to just screw on here onto the uh, SMA connector once I have that installed, and I'll play with those and see uh, just how effective they are, but they won't be uh, as directional, but they will have a limit to the to the altitude, I guess, because um, you know, with a 5 DPI a linear antenna, you're going to get uh, more of a squash donut. So, again, here's here's the setup, and really nothing fancy, just uh, just convenient that everything kind of fit fit nicely onto the setup there. And uh, powering off the main battery with, of course, a uh, power filter. Otherwise, uh, I might be getting some more vertical lines in the, in the video and some more you know, sources of interference. So it's a nice, clean setup. I'm looking forward to uh, trying out the 8 dBi panel antenna. Um, Battery-wise, I think the most I could get out of this would be probably 3 to 4 kilometers in one direction. Um, because I'll be running out of juice. So when I flew, flew two kilometers, um, I think I ended up putting back, uh, what did I put back on the battery? Maybe three, just under 3,000 uh, milliamp hours. The batteries, the Chroma batteries are rated for 6,300. Of course, you don't want to run them totally flat. So, um, I did a test one day. I didn't post the video. I had, uh, I had run it to, to the point where the pods, uh, the LED pods gave the warning that um, you're down to about, I think it's 10.8 or 10.9 volts, which is uh, roughly a third. And I think I had accumulated about 35,000 feet, um, which is roughly 10 kilometers. So in theory, I should be able to get uh, five kilometers uh, in any direction and then five kilometers back, but again, that's running that's running it pretty close, so I don't know if I'll be trying that. Uh, Alright, I hope this uh, this video helps anybody out that's interested in using the Chroma. Um, for FPV, I did, I, I did find that um, out of the box with the antenna orientation there, uh, it was less than desirable for FPV. Um, any kind of range anyways, but uh, very, very simple mod. Just a small hole you have to drill in the, in the leg and then just re-root it, and I used a little bit of double-sided tape just to kind of stick it in place there and now we've got a really clear line of sight from the uh, the transmitter um, and the uh, receiver. Alright, have a great day.